Recently, France has supported India's claim for permanent membership of the United Nations Security Council. Stressing the need for major changes in the Security Council, France said that at present, nations like India, Germany, Brazil and Japan deserve to be become permanent members. So, in this video, we will talk about India's claim for permanent membership in the Security Council. But before proceeding further, if you want to watch this video in Hindi, please click on the link given in the description. And also, if you like this video, please share it with your groups and your family. First of all, we will know what is the United Nations Security Council. The UNSC is the most important body of the United Nations which was formed in 1945 during the World War II. The five permanent members of the Security Council are the United States, Britain, France, Russia and China. Apart from the five permanent member states, ten other countries are included in the Security Council as non-permanent members for two years. The purpose of electing non-permanent member states is to maintain regional balance in the Security Council. Now we will talk about the roles and powers of the Security Council. The Security Council is the most important body of the United Nations whose primary duty is to maintain international peace and security. Its powers include contributing to peacekeeping operations, enforcing international sanctions and taking military action through Security Council resolutions. It is the only UN body empowered to issue binding resolutions on the member states that is all member states are bound to abide by the decision of the Security Council. At present, the five permanent members of the UN Security Council have veto power. Veto power means I don't allow. This means that if a member does not agree with the decision of the permanent members, then he can use the veto power to stop that decision. Now we will know why should India be given permanent membership of the UN Security Council. India was one of the founding members of the United Nations. India is the largest contributor to UN peacekeeping operations. India currently has over 8500 peacekeepers deployed across the world, more than double the number of the troops of the five major UN powers. India is a nuclear power country with a population of 1.3 billion and an economy of more than 1 trillion dollars. India lifts up to all the parameters of population, regional size, GDP, economic potential, rich heritage and cultural diversity. India is the world's largest democracy and Asia's third largest economy. Apart from China, India has the support of major powers including four permanent members, the African Union, Latin America and Middle East countries. India has been a member of the UNSC, G77 and G4 seven times, so its demand for permanent membership is logical. Now we will know what will be the benefits of the India's permanent membership in the UNSC. Permanent membership will enable India to have a say more strongly in global geopolitics with the power of veto in the Council. Permanent membership of the UNSC will formally support India as a responsible nuclear power. The permanent seat of UNSC will provide a new opportunity in the bilateral negotiations. Permanent membership of the UNSC will help strengthen mechanisms to address external security threats and state-sponsored terrorism against India. Permanent membership of the UNSC will help India reduce China's dominance in subcontinental regions such as Indian Ocean and South China Sea. Now we will know what are the challenges before India in getting the permanent membership of the UNSC. It is argued by critics that India is not a signatory to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and also refused to sign the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty in 1996. China, which has veto power in UNSC, is posing challenges to India's efforts to become a permanent member. Although India occupies an important position in the global economy and the country's macroeconomic infrastructure is also stable, India is performing unexpectedly in many socio-economic indicators such as the Human Development Index. India's ability to demonstrate its military might beyond the Indian Ocean region is yet to be tested. Apart from this, India relies heavily on arms imports from US and Russia for its military needs. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe this channel for latest updates.